Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Saturday. Barry Beer with you and welcome back to someone. Not mentioning any names. So good to see that person back filming me again. And this afternoon I'd like to tell you viewers about Easter. I already discussed a bit of Easter with you on Thursday, but this is the proper, the proper video. Easter is the time when Jesus was crucified on the cross and rose again three days later on Easter Sunday. Now we all know what happens at Easter, don't we? Can you tell me what what we like to eat at Easter? Well, I can tell you something not healthy at all, and that is the chocolate. I hope some of you are chocoholics out there and hot cross buns. So, are you a hot cross bun fanatic? <laughs> I hope so. Especially the ones with fruit. So, uh, another reason we celebrate Easter is because of the seafood and the Easter show. My favourite seafood is the salmon. Mm -mm. Beautiful especially on a sandwich. Now on a serious note, staying safe on the roads. Now we all know that you like to go travelling around the countryside on the roads, but the message that my offsider and I would like to give to you this afternoon is please Take it easy on those roads as Easter is approaching and don't use the roads as a racetrack. They are not speedways. They are not they are not there to speed on. If you want to speed, go out to Winston Creek. You can speed there all you like and go around and around and around on Mount Panorama but not on Sydney's road please don't rush just to get to a church service in an hour because you have plenty of time to slow down relax have a cup of tea or whatever and Give the kids something to munch on while during the long drives that are ahead of you. And have enough money to, to pay for a taxi or use Uber. And, and I'm sure my offsider would agree on this. Oh, absolutely, Barry. You couldn't have said it better. And everyone needs to remember that it rains quite a lot at Easter, so even more take care on the roads. So what my offsider and I are urging you to do is have patience and stick to the speed limit. You only have the one life, so for goodness sake everybody, I know I have said this many times before on the show, but if you're going to be stupid enough to use Sydney's roads as raceways, well then you have to face the consequences. And if you or your passenger are caught not wearing your seatbelt over the Easter break, there will be consequences with that as well. No matter where where you are travelling to or from, the police will be on your back 
or even if you talk be back straight you cannot avoid a booze bus refuse a breath test because you will be breathalyzed even if it's just made from your home so please obey the warning by the police heed the warning and, and don't be an idiot and there will be lots of police cars out at Easter, as there always is. So if and you think you're going to get away with it, no way. And the last thing we'd like to talk about this afternoon on the show is daylight. Saving, drawing to a close. Um, daylight saving draws to a close on Sunday the 2nd of April, so please mark that down in your diaries, except for Queensland and Western Australia where they are already on Eastern Standard Time. So just repeating once again, stay safe on those roads. If you are going to indicate Use your blinker. Don't just pull out in front of people. It is very, very dangerous. And we brought this up on a video a fair few years back outside our studios here. here. And are you going to be stupid enough to not obey what the police tell you? Because if you are, then is, I think the wise decision we would like to make for you is to stay off the road if you don't know how to drive your car properly. And don't have a road rage attack in the middle of the street either, because that's not the way to handle a situation because it certainly will not work with my oxide or myself here. So anything you'd like to say to the viewers before we wrap up here? Ah, uh, just to have a good afternoon and take care as Barry said over the uh, Easter break and um, yes remember about your clocks changing uh, on the 2nd of April. And the very last topic is wearing your seat belts. So reminding you once again, please wear them because it can save you and your passenger your life. And don't ring triple zero unless you have an emergency because I have brought this up many times on the shows that I have presented to you. If you're going to be stupid enough to ring triple zero when you haven't got an emergency, then you have to live with the consequences and don't use an ambulance as a taxi. Only ring for an ambulance if you are really desperate or in doubt or as a last resort. The way it has been this Saturday afternoon, the 25th of March, you've been watching the Saturday Report with Barry Fear. On behalf of myself and my offside and Karen Rollins, we wish you a very good afternoon and welcome back, Karen. It is great to see you back here again. Thank you, Barry. After so many weeks off, and we're glad to see here that everything went well. So, from me, Barry Fear and Karen Rollins. We thank you for watching 
our show today and we'll catch you next time round here at Oceana House. Bye for now. Goodbye.